CSS back with another video. In this video, I want to go over Windows 10 build 10,586 or version 1511's new features. Now, this build's been on the Insider fast and slow ring for quite a while, but now it's on the normal builds for the fall update. So here we go. Now, first thing that you've probably noticed is that the settings app is a lot more important than it was in the previous build. So control panel is less important, and settings app is getting a lot of those control panel features. Now, a good example of this is the About. Uh, now has the Windows 10 logo. It has more information uh, regarding license terms and everything. Um, display has some better uh, options. So overall, the settings app has improved quite a bit. Now, I think the biggest change in this uh, Windows 10 build is the start menu slash context menu changes. Now, that's a small thing. It This update is mostly UI changes, but I think they're going in the right direction, I think. So when you click on the start menu, uh, nothing really major has changed uh, on first glance, but now... Um, some of the context menus are different. For example, the user contact menu is bigger. The power context menu takes up the entire left side of the home screen, uh, the start menu. Um, and right clicking on the apps on the tiled slide actually does show a uh, jump list. So for example, if I right click on Firefox, it will show all the websites. Or OBS, it will show any context menus. Uh, and they've streamlined uh, the context menus with the normal tiled menu. So when I click, whoa, when I right click on calendar, you're going to get this. And when I right click on a normal app, you're going to get these same three or four options. Uh, and they've tried to push this uh, to the same on the left side of the start menu. So for example, Steam right clicking now has the exact same stuff as the context menu. Uh, this was not the case earlier. Earlier, right clicking would have don't show in this list, and that was really it. You if you wanted the context menus, you had to pin these desktop apps to the left side. But now desktop apps can take full advantage of those context menus, even if they are in uh, the tiled pinned instead of up on the most used part. Uh, moving on, all apps now has the option for a lot more apps than just 512. And I've noticed that the actual spacing of the apps is smaller, so you can fit more apps in, uh, in the scroll. <laughs> in one window, I guess. Um, but there are context, new context menus all over the place. You saw the new one um, in the start menu. Uh, there's a new one on the desktop now. As you can see, this is a little bit more gray, a little bit, not as, it's not just straight white. It's a little bit t uh, tinted. Uh, so that's nice to see. Keep track of this. Um, this is now the second context menu. Okay. And there's another one, another changed context menu, which is if you click anywhere on the start menu, you're going to see this dark uh, context menu, which is very similar to the start menu one. However, the start menu context menu has lines in between them. This one does not. Not a big deal, but uh, they're changing it. They are changing it. I think they're going to coordinate it with the light theme or dark theme, but that's not there yet. And then, of course, lastly, there is the fourth context menu when you right-click any of these or any, like, desktop app window. So as you can see here, this one's white and has a blue option. So there are really a bunch of context menus still. There's no unification, but they're getting there. I think the context menus do look better overall, so that's nice to see. Next up, uh, I want to show you guys some new icons. So as you can see, Speakers has a new icon here. Uh, if we go into Playback Devices, the microphones have a new icon. Every The icons are being updated, which is really nice to see. Uh, <clears throat> I think the next biggest feature set here is in Microsoft Edge, uh, where now you will be able to um, <coughs> have tab preview. So they made Edge a little bit faster, in my opinion. Um, no extensions, that's going to be in Redstone, which I will cover on this channel if you subscribe. Um, but now if I say, if I have Google, whoa, okay, if I have Google, and I have Yahoo, and I have CNN and ESPN open, then when I go to these tabs, as you can see, when I hover over them, you're going to be seeing the tab previews. Now, this is a feature that no other browser actually has built in. You're going to have to use extensions, so it's really nice to see. As you can see, Edge still freaks out sometimes on really heavy websites, but um, it's nice to see that the tab previews seem to work pretty well, actually. They're pretty quick. Uh, it, it, there's no major lag, usually. 
Uh, so it's actually a pretty nice feature. I really enjoyed it. But that's the major new feature in Microsoft Edge. And here too, the context menus. This is the fifth one now. Um, so, I mean, the UI is still not unified, but it's getting there. It's moving in the correct direction. Uh, there are some minor features that I feel like I should note. Um, Cortana can now be used on a local account, so you don't have to have a Microsoft connection, but you still can't get store apps without signing in individually into your Microsoft account. Uh, mail and calendar apps still are incredibly buggy for me, but I hope and think that's just a me issue. I think most people are fine with the apps as they are. And another feature that I actually forgot to mention is uh, when you enable in the settings under personalization, when you enable showing colors on start taskbar action center and title bar uh, on the 32-bit or classic apps you're actually going to get a color title bar so it's no longer white and you don't have to go through register registry edits to actually get that feature which is nice to see and actually this is also being enabled on some um, universal apps so for example the NFL app once it loads will have as you can see up here the uh, green matching title bar so that's really nice to see throughout the operating system but overall that's pretty much it for this video guys if you have any questions let me know uh, i hope you enjoyed be sure to like the video and if you want to see more windows 10 coverage uh, feel free to subscribe thanks for watching